Hey guys, how you doing? Professor EDC with another Bladeosophy episode. Yes, um, this is uh, going to become more of a Monday series than a Sunday. <laughs> Anyways, um, just had some technical difficulties and, and could not. I still need to learn um, many things uh, and I I don't have uh, the perfect phone uh, to to do this but well we we work with what we have anyways um, I started uh, doing the video yesterday and, um, and then I saw a video by Nick Shabazz and another one um, by Slicey Dicey in response to Nick Shabazz's video on mental health during these times. And so I thought to, you know, um, change a bit the subject and, and respond to those videos from these people that I, um, I follow and I admire and respect very much. And I just think they're, they're, they're great guys. And uh, if you're not subscribed, if you don't know them, look, look them up. Nick Shabazz and Slicey Dicey. So um, look them up and they're just wonderful and have great, great content. Anyways, mental health during the times of COVID-19 and world crisis. Yeah, we're living through, uh, we're going through very difficult times. Um, I myself have been laid off and uh, it's just uh, very difficult to get by. And uh, a family member just passed away. And well, I, I, I was suspected to have uh, COVID and fortunately I don't and tough times we are facing and tough times we will face so I think that one of the most important things here goes or here go my two cents uh, in in this topic I think that one of the most important things that we must consider if we are not doing it already is uh, this getting to know our, ourselves and why is that important? It's not only part of the topic of uh, Bladeosophy but it's um, so that we can deliver accurate diagnosis on ourselves and, uh, and how we are. Of course, if we get to a point where we need help, the most appropriate thing to do is to, um, to look for help. Uh, emotional health, uh, emotional help, sorry, or professional help. So, but for that, we need to know ourselves a bit so that we know um, where we are, what ground we are standing on. Otherwise, it might take us by surprise and, and next thing you know, we'll be facing a, a deep or a strong depression and that's not what we want or something even worse. And that's why the getting to know ourselves is so important. And uh, yeah, diagnose ourselves. And we need to know where these uh, emotions are coming from, what they are, and 
what we may do um, about them. We need to know what is happening to us. And the only way we can do that is getting to know ourselves. As to being able to make an, uh, a more appropriate diagnosis. Once we more or less know where we're coming from and what is happening to us, then uh, we can prescribe um, ourselves with some exercises, some medicine, uh, spir spiritual uh, medicine, if you will. Um, I have found out with all of this uh, that is going on in my life, um, I have recovered something that I lost and that um, has to do with the last episode as well. If you remember, I mentioned two key words which were uh, enjoyment and obsession. And uh, it is the second one um, where I was standing with this obsession and I recognized that and uh, ended up focusing more on the enjoyment of blades and not lose that anymore. And in that sense, as uh, putting food on the table has become more difficult and um, I am forced uh, to sell some of my, my uh, collection. Every time I finish a meal, whether it's breakfast, uh, supper or dinner, I recovered very wholeheartedly gratitude. And, you know, it made, it, made, uh, it might seem like not much, but there is, within that gratitude, every time I finish and I, and I really give thanks um, that I'm able to eat that meal, um, there is this brief moment of peace, of um, deep peace and grace. And that is food for the spirit, at least, uh, at least for me. So recovering our v values, values that we've lost with modern times, because we are also facing a crisis of, of values. And um, gratitude used to be so important in, in our lives. And now you see less and less of it every day. Kindness is another thing. I'm a pretty uh, tough guy, especially to myself. And uh, after many years of, of um, meditation and work on, on myself, I found out that it has done nothing uh, for me, that kind of toughness um, or roughness, if you will. So I learned that I need to be um, more kind or kinder to myself before I want to, you know, be kind to others. It's uh, in order for it to be like uh, more pure or more honest, I really need to live that kindness within myself. And it's just like a knife in that sense 
there is a difference between a, a collector who doesn't use their knives and I'm not uh, I'm not criticizing and a user a collector that uses uh, his or her knives so there is a difference in in matters of experience and uh, that cannot be denied and in that same sense it is the same as with gratitude and and kindness and uh, honesty and respect you know all these things that used to be important to our parents and grandparents and, and to many of us I'm a 44 45 almost year old man and and I my generation still believed in those things and we've uh, lost our path as well another thing that is important is meditation at least for me I, I have seen how this has helped me throughout the years and uh, has helped me improve and, and calm down I'm drinking a bit of water and uh, improving my intelligence and my uh, world view I, I am generally a very negative person um, or used to be and uh, it's not a matter of being positive you know this new age positiveness um, no it's it's uh, there's a saying in Spanish that goes something like you can't block the Sun with with your thumb uh, meaning you can't uh, hide uh, the truth with uh, by covering your eyes something like that and in that sense we gotta be realistic but not fall into nihilism or negative negativity as they will sink us in depression and worst but then there is this uh, positivity and I, I have found that a better word for it and it's um, being constructive have a constructive thought the world as we knew it, it has changed and uh, and right now a good portion of it is crumbling down and we need to construct a new thought construct a new world and uh, it's important that we do this in our minds and in our hearts and focus and really sustain that focus and that uh, is going to be strengthened by meditation and of course uh, reading from smarter and wiser people than ourselves and one more thing that I have found really really helpful is uh, being under suspicion of COVID and feeling sick and all, I couldn't go out. I live in an apartment and I was I was in indoors for two weeks straight or, or three, don't remember. And uh, but when I the first time I, I got the chance to go outside and and uh, breathe fresh air and see little bugs in the garden and, and birds and bats and animals. Um, there is also grace in that and there is also peace in that and uh, food for the spirit. So nature is important and another thing that is important in nature and, and this is personal because um, that's part of my job or you used to be as I, um, I, I teach outdoors um, there is a Latin saying that goes something like orare ist laborare, laborare ist orare and uh, that, I think it was from uh, St. Francis of Assisi. And that means work, um, prayer is work, work is prayer, something like that. And it's really beautiful because when you work um, honestly uh, with your whole 
intention and I'm talking about go out and do something if, if you're able to um, to work in the garden get your hands on on the on the earth and, and get them dirty and uh, sweat and at the end of the day you're going to you take a nice shower um, shave uh, feel fresh and clean and you'll you'll feel this wonderful tiredness that is going to allow you to sleep like a baby so well my friends those are my two cents I hope uh, I'm talking from experience and uh, I hope it uh, helps someone and until next Sunday I would like to just uh, give a shout out to a friend um, Shoe Monster Tech uh, he has a YouTube channel and uh, reviewing EDC items He's awesome. He's got uh, pretty good content. So go watch him. Again, Shoe Monster Tech. Go watch him. All right. See you next Sunday. Till then, take care.